Chris Keller Knight. Do happier people live longer? And can helping others give us more happiness than we can achieve ourselves? Well, answer all those questions, plus... Wallaby star James O'Connor shares his tips for a fun, happy life. Meet the woman who gave up a successful career to make her four-legged friends happier. And we cook a dish that's bound to lift your mood. So stick around to live healthy, be happy. We're the lucky country, but are we the happy country? Yeah, overall, I think Aussies are pretty happy people. Aussies are right up there in terms of like mental well-being. According to the World Database of Happiness, Australians rank number 11 in the world for feeling good. And nearly 80% of us say we're satisfied with our lives. To me, happiness, peace and contentment is the best drug on the planet. But at the same time, nearly a quarter of Australians experience anxiety and a third suffer from depression. It is very important that people are feeling good and uh, have got a, a, a very healthy state of mind. So is happiness something we can work on every day? There is a strong correlation between being happy and being healthy. Uh, if you stay happy, most of the time you are healthy. And if you are healthy, most of the time you stay happy. One of the great ways to feel happier is by volunteering. Countless studies show that when we give our time to others, our brain produces dopamine, a powerful hormone that helps us feel good. And volunteers say it's food for the soul. Jeff Holman is a successful IT consultant who believes he's found real happiness helping others. When most people are recovering from their nine to five job, Jeff's volunteering for Oz Harvest a charity that collects unwanted food from restaurants, markets and shops and gives it to the homeless and underprivileged. Jeff, most people go to the pub on a Friday night or go back to their families. You jump in a yellow van yeah. and take food which would be wasted to those in need. That's correct, yeah. I love giving because I think I almost get more back from giving than what I'm giving them. So. It's, it just makes you feel really good and that satisfaction which you may take three or 12 months in my normal IT consultant job, yet I can go out and I harvest and get that win every night I go out. Should we make some people happy? I think we should. Let's go. Okay. So how did you get into Oz Harvest? I was sitting on the couch one night, saw Ronnie Khan, the Oz Harvest founder on TV. She got the law changed so donors could donate food without compromise. I got involved on the ground from the day one and been doing it for eight years and love every minute of it. Jeff, over three million meals served a year through Oz Harvest. Food's got to come from somewhere today. It's a market. Yeah, today it's a market. They're closing up. Um, so it's a good and most best time for us to get their food. because They're they don't normally pretty home. generous? Very generous, yeah. Let's see what we've got today. OK, great. Hey, Steve, how are you going? Going to a good home. Sure are. There you go. Sort of waste. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. I just thought I'd be just helping feeding the homeless, but it's a lot more than that. It's in the giving. They always say it's better to give than to receive. More than six million Aussies volunteer in some way with real health benefits. There have been some very good studies that have looked at people that uh, work uh, in a charitable way. And research shows that it has profound benefits in the people that do that. There's no question that it also makes the people feel better about what they're doing. Nectarines, capskins, beans, beetroot, bananas, good haul, does it make you happy? Oh, it sure does. All good fresh stuff going to good mouths and good tables tonight. Would have been wasted unless you and Oz Harvest were here. Yep, and that's what it's all about. Makes me feel good. Well, let's go and deliver it to the people that need it. Today's drop-off is at one of the city's biggest public housing blocks. What do you got for us today, mate? Oh, I've got all sorts of good fresh food well, and veggies. veggies and I'll give you one of those. Right. This young fella. Strong you. young fella. 
I was talking to Jeff. He said some people play golf and get happiness. Yep. This is his happiness. Seven hours doing this on a Friday night. A lot of people here that can't afford to eat. They know when this van's here that they'll come down in an hour and a half's time and they'll get a small bag which will have enough stuff that they can cook at least one good meal tonight. Thank you very much. That's what it's all about. How does that make you feel, Jeff? I think the to my eye almost. <laughs> it's so good to, to, make, to see the benefit of what I do as a volunteer, go to say it's such great, good people who do great stuff for their own little community here. If you ever doubt what you're doing isn't worthwhile, hearing Dennis speak like that makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Sure does. It's fantastic, and this is why I do it. Another session done for Oz Harvest. Do you leave as happy as normal? Yep, happy as ever and energised for the week ahead. It'd be nice if everyone had as much job satisfaction as you feel through volunteering. Yeah, it would. The world would be a better place. Another way to lift your mood is through food. So here's a healthy recipe that is guaranteed to leave you feeling better. Hey guys, today we're going to do a grilled white and green asparagus with a tomato salsa, poached hen's egg, and a sauce hollandaise. So to make a start on it, I'm just gonna give our uh, asparagus a little trim up. And the white asparagus, a little bit more unusual because these guys are grown in the dark, which doesn't allow them to develop a chlorophyll. And then we'll come over to the grill. So the great thing about asparagus is it helps our body to produce serotonin, which makes us feel happy. Next up, we're going to make our um, cherry tomato salsa. So we're going to need our red onion, a little bit of chilli, just one clove of garlic, nice and finely chopped, small basil that will just rip nicely. A key ingredient for this dish is the cherry tomatoes, which have a little bit more skin than a normal tomato. And contained in that skin is a chemical which helps to protect the fat around our brain, which helps the fight against depression. So now we're going to take our tomatoes, mix it with the rest of our ingredients, and make ourselves a tomato salsa. A little bit of good olive oil, and an apple balsamic vinegar. And then um, we're just going to give this a mix around. So now we're going to make a super simple sauce hollandaise. We're going to use some butter. We need to blitz a couple of egg yolks with our uh, white balsamic vinegar. And then we're going to heat this up to 80 degrees. And in about five minutes, that'll be ready. So what we want to do is have our poaching pot just under boiling. Give it a little swirl around, just softly. And carefully break the egg into the middle of the pot. We're just going to check on our sabion. That's looking pretty good. We'll mix the butter in to thicken it up. And there you have it. A quick and easy sauce hollandaise. OK, guys, so we've got our grilled asparagus. They're ready to go. We're up to our poached eggs, which we're just going to sit up the top like so. And then we've got a little bit of our hollandaise that we've just made. Touch of the salsa, a little bit of the juice. That's had plenty of time to get some flavors developing. And there you have it. Asparagus with poached eggs, tomato salsa, and sauce hollandaise. If that doesn't make you happy, I don't know what will. My first tip for a happier life is to make plans to be happy. When you've got something in the calendar that'll make you happy, like a fun run, then just looking forward to it will improve your mood. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up... <laughs> Star Wallaby James O'Connor shares his secrets to a happier life. The woman who gave up a high-powered career for happiness. And... Do friends and fun help you live longer? So, Travis, you're the creator of the Colour Run. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the Colour Run is meant to uh, encourage a healthy, happy lifestyle without being too competitive. And where does the concept of the Colour Run come from? Well, at first, um, we started just looking at colour in general. We decided to use wet colour plus dry colour and put it at every kilometre on the run, and then at the end, kind of have a festival. Today 
we're looking at happiness, how to get it, and what it does to our body. So, is longevity one of the perks? Being happy makes us feel better and improves our health. But can it really make us live longer? A recent study in the US has shown that happy people live 35% longer and their bodies produce less of the stress hormones that cause so much damage to our health. So, what's all that got to do with table tennis? Well, 102-year-old Dorothy Dillo is a table tennis veteran and she strongly believes that being happy is the key to living her long and healthy life. Dorothy, can you teach me how to play some table tennis tonight? <laughs> you might teach me a bit. <laughs> I can't bend over and pick the balls up. Ready? You! Yeah. Good rally! <laughs> when did you start playing table tennis? About 50 years ago. 50 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> does table tennis make you happy? Yes, it does, when I can get there. Making my friends and doing silly things with a, <laughs> with a ball. And how important do you think being active and doing things for the love of it contributes to you living a long, healthy life? Important. Do you play to win? When I go overseas, I do. Especially if I'm playing doubles, I play for my partner's sake as well as I am. Paul, how long have you been playing table tennis with Dorothy for? 30 years. 30 years? Yes, it's a long time with her, but uh, I've actually been playing 49 years, but uh, she loves it. And do you think playing table tennis, which makes you happy, contributes to a long life? Table tennis is the fastest reflex sport in the world, and the fact that you have to react, it makes your mind a lot sharper, and I believe this helps uh, Alzheimer's. It actually increases their reflexes, and it's unbelievable. The fact that she looks forward to meeting up with people playing table tennis and, and she's very happy about it, keeps them alive, it's fantastic. To live long, play ping pong. <laughs> I like that catchphrase. <laughs> there have been very good studies to look at the role of happiness as far as longevity is concerned. Key uh, aspects include uh, spending time with your friends and colleagues in order that you can share your pressures and stresses, walking over to their place ideally because that's where you get your exercise and then you need to have a healthy diet and even take an appropriate supplement. And they are really the big things. good at this game, but at least I had fun trying. So whatever it is that makes you have fun and be happy, keep doing it. It may just be the secret to the fountain of youth. If you're feeling blue, a great tip for happiness is to do something that you're good at. We're often happiest when we play to our strengths. Coming up, a man who certainly knows how to play to his strengths. Rugby union sensation James O'Connor on why his life on and off the field is so happy. Plus, Meet the woman who gave up a successful career to make her four-legged friends happier. Why did you do the colour on? It's a really good way to have yeah. a good time and to inspire kids to have fun. And we're doing a show today that's all about happiness. And have you girls had a really happy time today? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're watching Live Healthy, Be Happy, and our focus is happiness. Each week, we bring you a high-profile sports star who typifies what we're talking about. And next up is a young man who not only lives happiness on the field, but has a great recipe for happiness off it. I'm James O'Connor. I'm 22 years old, born and bred on the Gold Coast, and uh, I play for the Wallabies. Yeah, rugby's always been a big part of my life, uh, sport in general, I guess, but training four times a week. I was playing for about three different teams and playing on the weekends and it was pretty tough for mom and dad so I got two other brothers as well sort of carting us around and yeah it's been my life ever since I was younger and uh, I guess I wouldn't have it any other way. I think people make me happy. Um, I'm in a fortunate position where I, my job is uh, my passion and my hobby. I like to enjoy myself. I've got a, I guess good structures in place and uh, some good people around me where every sort of moment I, I try to yeah, live to the fullest. So I wouldn't say I take myself too seriously. Uh, a big part of sort of my life is uh, joking around. Uh, that's where I, I get a lot of uh, a lot of laughs from, and there's a lot of banter thrown around. But 
I do cop a, a fair bit of it, as you can see. New year, new hairstyle. It's uh, got me in a bit of trouble already. <laughs> a win makes me very, very happy. I guess uh, I can still have fun sort of uh, if we do lose as well. It's not ideal, but uh, it happens. It's, uh, it's part of life, it's part of sport, you know, and you don't want to be a bad sportsman at all anyway. Long-term plans, uh, this year has probably been a big learning curve for me. Been injured for seven months, I had a lacerated liver and two torn hamstrings. Uh, wasn't pleasant. That one-on-one -on -one training uh, with, your, with your coach at six o'clock in the morning is uh, not where I want to be. Also, little thing, tweaks in training. Um, a few of us in our team have uh, taken a little bit of a hippie sort of approach. Um, a few of us have started doing Tibetan bowls as well. A bit of meditation and stuff like that. So at the moment, that's our flavor of the month. And I don't know, I think, it, I think we'll keep it going. Happiness, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the key to life uh, for me. You know, if, uh, if you're not enjoying yourself, then uh, I guess you're not living. <laughs>
and what times of the day are better suited to using our energy. For the vast majority of us, we have most of our energy from waking up to about 12 midday. Plus, Formula One driver Mark Webber shares his tips for getting and keeping energy. Enjoying the outdoors, being healthy, you know, looking after yourself, 